Melt the ice. It's time for... Okay, maybe spring hasn't yet sprung, but 60 degrees on Lincoln's birthday is the great emancipator of the cold. A three days running reprieve above 50 in February, perfect for Patriot's Day prep. Geese flying high in celebration. Music for the souls of the people. <laughs> I'm feeling much better about being out without 62 layers on. And the souls of their pets. Oh my God, so much better, I can't even tell you. I tried six different kinds of booties for her so that she wouldn't cry. The salt or the sand and everything just absolutely made her cry. In Cambridge, signs of winter still surround. Wrapped up boats abound, ice flows dot the Charles, parkas and winter hats along the paths, budless branches on the banks. Over in Southie, these dogs went all the way in, as did the brave kiters putting on a show in Pleasure Bay. There are still piles of snow stacked up on the sand, but not many. So at least until the next winter storm, it is time to enjoy the day for what it is, a break in the action from the bitter cold. I'll take this over the snow any day of the week. Josh Brogadier, WCVB, News Center 5.